Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to Wendy's. I'm parking like right next to the building because drive through was full and backed up. But uh, they've got some new sandwiches and some new fries, so I'm going to run in here and uh, actually I'm going to go through drive through and um, yeah, I'll take you with me. There's a guy standing up front, so I can't go any lower. But anyway, I'll, be, I'll take you with me. Thank you for choosing Wendy's. Would you like to try a combo? I, mean, I want just one of your uh, the single loaded nacho cheeseburgers and then an order of the queso fries. Right, what else can I get for um, do you have the Fanta strawberry fusion drink? Yeah, we do. Okay, well, I just saw a medium one of those. Alright, what else can I get for That's you? That's it. That'll be 12 Thank you. 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 <laughs> That's okay. Cover straw. It should be in the bag. So okay. Make sure. Yep, there is. Okay, thank, thank you. Me. Have a great day. All right, let's just pull up front. I'll pull over here. Um, I'll tell you the prices real quick while I'm sitting here. Um, it looks like the uh, single nacho cheeseburger uh, by itself was $6.39. Uh, the queso fries by itself was $3.29. And the medium Fanta drink, it says it's strawberry fusion. I think it's, uh, it looks like it's just strawberry. I don't know, whatever. Um, it says it's exclusive to Wendy's, so I don't know if it's... Um, if it's a special one or not. But anyway, they said they had it. They said this was it. I don't know. We'll, we'll, I'll tell you when when I get it. Um, so anyway, it was $2.49. So my total was $12.17. And then you have to add your state tax, whatever it may be, sales tax. So um, my total was $12.90 total. So I'm going to get everything out, turn, turn the camera around, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here is the queso fries. I guess it's, um, it looks like there's regular cheese. But anyway, it's, it's supposed to be the, the queso fries. I mean, here's the burger. You get the uh, the burger with lettuce, tomato. You get the uh, crispy whatever they are, the lettuce with the sauce on it. And then whatever this drink is. It's the strawberry something. It should be the strawberry fusion, but we'll see. So anyway, yeah, there it is. I think it's interesting, um, aside from the, the actual food, uh, while I'm getting the fork out, I'll just talk about it. First of all, that burger is kind of messy. Um, it's got uh, sauce kind of everywhere. But anyway, um, I think it's interesting ever since the uh the the pandemic and everybody was closed and everybody was going um sitting in their car or picking up orders and and sitting in the car and stuff i've noticed uh, you know when i first started doing these you really didn't see a lot of people sitting in their cars and eating um nowadays i see people eating in their cars all the time i mean like it's very very common now to see people um, sitting in their cars and eating after they go through drive through It used to be they went wherever they were going and would eat. And I, I just think it's interesting, um, you know, how things have changed um, since the pandemic. I just think it's interesting. I'm going to receive my pocket. So the queso fries, because I'm going to try those first, they're 390 calories, just to let you know. Um, it's supposed to have a poblano queso and shredded cheddar. Um, I don't know where the queso is. It looks like it's just cheese but no there's some there's some orange sauce in there too i see some orangey colored um sauce underneath the cheese so i'm gonna try that first they did give me a fork okay the the queso is first of all i like the taste of it it's got a really good um pepper flavor like peppers like poblano peppers they're a little soggy.
Yeah, I guess for their, I don't know. I don't know if it's because of the package they're in. It's definitely the sauce and the cheese. The sauce and cheese has made them a little soggy because if you get one of the ones on the sides that does not have anything on it, these are still good and crunchy. Yeah, but if you get one that has the sauce on it, they kind of get a little soggy and wet. So if you don't like soggy fries, you'll probably hate these. I like the flavor though. It's not spicy at all. Like it's not like hot in your mouth at all. So don't be afraid of the poblano pepper part. Don't be afraid of that. Um, because I'm not picking up any like spice heat, like heat heat, like spices heat, peppers. It kind of reminds you, if you've ever bought the Tocino's um, queso dip that they sell it in the chip aisle at Walmart or Kroger or wherever you go to shop, Meyer or wherever, um, it's the yellow cheese um, that has the, like the peppers in it. It tastes like that, except it doesn't have any kind of heat in it. So some of those, like the mild and the mediums, well, the mediums and the hot of uh, the Tostinos, they actually have some heat to them, as well as the pepper and cheese flavor. This one just has the pepper and cheese flavor. It really doesn't have any heat at all. So I, I wish, me personally, I wish it did have a little bit of heat in it, because I, if I want to... I want some of the poblano. I want some. I want a little bit of that pepper heat going, and these just don't have it. It's kind of, uh, you know, you get the flavor of the peppers, you just don't get the heat from the peppers. I really do like it. And I do like that they um, they also added the the shredded cheese to it as well because the shredded cheese it just adds a little bit more of a texture to it. If it had just been, of course, they could have just given you. Um, you could order, I guess, um, an order of fries and just get a cup of the the poblano sauce, uh, the queso sauce. I wonder if they would sell that just by itself in a cup. Because if you if they did that, it would almost be better. Because that way you're you don't really need the melted cheese. I like it. Don't get me wrong, but you could take your really crunchy fries and dip in that poblano pepper sauce or the queso sauce, and uh, really get a really good flavor, and you keep the crunch on your fries. So just an option if you wanted to try it. I don't, like I said, I don't even know if they would do that, but um, I think that would be good because uh, that way you're not getting a somewhat soggy fry. I'm gonna take a drink because I want a drink. I'm gonna try the strawberry. Well, it's carbonated. Definitely strawberry. It kind of tastes like it's a lemonade. I don't know. I, I didn't find a description for what the strawberry fusion was, so I don't know what it's fused with. <laughs> um, it kind of tastes like a strawberry lemonade, but the lemonade is, it's very sweet. It has a good flavor. I like it. I like it quite a bit. Um, I should have got the zero version. I forgot they had a, uh, a zero calorie version of it as well. They're supposed to. Um, I just got the regular one. I just completely forgot to ask for the, um, the zero calorie version. I like this. I think that's really good. I think if you got the zero calorie version, it'd probably have a little bit different flavor, but um, it wouldn't be greatly different to where it would be like, I don't like that at all. Um, if you're used to drinking diet drinks, I think you would be fine with it. Um, I'm guessing, of course, because I'm not drinking it. But uh, yeah, that's pretty good. I like the strawberry flavor. The, the good thing is the strawberry is strong enough to match up with whatever it's mixed with, lemonade or whatever. So um, so it's a really good combination of, uh, of both. It's really good. I don't know where this car is going the wrong way in the parking lot. Um, so I'm going to try this burger. All the, I say they were going the wrong way because the, all the spaces are pointing the other direction. Happens all the time. <laughs> okay, so the burger, it has the same, like, um, I think it has the same sauce. I'm going to read, no, I can tell the difference. It's, it's not the same sauce. Um, it has um, corn tortillas, which I got these little bitty. Hold on, let me get one. The really teeny tiny little tor corn tortilla strips. Um, 
spicy chipotle sauce. That's what I taste, it's smoky. Um, poblano queso, so it also has that on it. Lettuce and tomatoes and a jalapeno cheddar bun, which if you saw the picture um, for the video I showed it up close, you saw the jalapeno bun. Um, you can actually see the cheese and the jalapeno on top of the bun, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, that chipotle sauce, I, I, can, I really get the flavor of that chipotle, um, that smoky um, sauce, that's pretty good. I like the, I like a smoky chipotle sauce. The little tortillas, they remind you a little bit of a, um, oh, that's interesting. Um, they remind you a little bit of um, like Frito strips, but they're they're more corn-like. Look at these. I love these. These little, they're corn. They're crunchy corn. Hmm. I love those in trail mix. I'm, I'm, I think it's neat that they, yeah, they put it on the burger. So that's cool. It's because they just mentioned it a tortilla strips. They didn't mention um, corn as well. So I think that's cool. Um, so let's go in right here. What looks up from the side? I tell you what, those little pieces of corn really add crunch. They are crunchier than the actual tortilla strips are. Like like the little tortilla strips, they're crunchy, but they're they're kind of soft. But you get the little pieces of corn, and they're really really crunchy. So I like that. Yeah, I like that they put that on there. Um, the sauce does have a little heat to it, so I think it's the um, the chipotle case, uh, the chipotle sauce definitely has some heat to it. So this, the burger itself has some kick to it, whereas the fries with the poblano sauce didn't really have any heat to it, like spicy heat, um, peppery heat. This one definitely does. Now, I don't know if it's from the chipotle, which I think a little bit of it's from the chipotle sauce, but I also think some of it's from the jalapenos on top of the bun because there's definitely green peppers on top. So I'm getting a little heat from probably both sources, honestly. That's just so different with those little corn pieces on there because it's really crunchy and really uh um it really adds a corn flavor let me try a little bit of this bun by itself with nothing else hmm. yeah there's definitely some heat coming from that bun the top has like little pieces of chopped well you can see one like right there there's a little uh, jalapeno on there um and there's a few others spread here and there you definitely get heat from just the bun itself. Um, and then I think you get some heat from that chipotle sauce as well. That was the, that was that uh, queso. I don't know where exactly the, the, the sauce is. I think it was the sauce that was on the lettuce. Anyway, it's really good. Just know that you're getting that, um, you are getting a little heat, spicy heat. Um, well, I got dark all of a sudden. Who knows? The sun's out, so um, you're getting a really um, a decent heat from it, spicy heat from the peppers, and then you're also getting um, that really good cheese, uh, Tostitos kind of cheese sauce flavor, the queso, um, that tastes really, really good. So I like the level of pepper flavor in there, peppers, green peppers, and uh, chilies, and I like the I like the heat level. It's not too much for me. I don't love really, really hot, spicy food, but I like a little spice. I don't mind a little spice at all. So I like the level of heat on this. And I and like I said, I really like the addition of the corn pieces because the tortilla strips themselves aren't crunchy, that crunchy. They're adding a little bit, but not a lot. What's really giving you that crunch is the um, the little pieces of corn, and they taste good too. They have a really good flavor. So, excuse me. So the fries, I would give the fries, like I said, if you could dip them in the sauce, I, th I personally would like them better. The way they are, they do get a little soggy. So I'm gonna give them, I'm gonna give them like, I don't really do like the flavor though. It's just the texture gets soggy. 
Um, I'm gonna give them a four out of five. I really do like them. I, I, I think I would, if I had to get them again, like I said, I would try to see if I can get the sauce separate and dip them. But the way they are now, I would definitely order them again. The burger, I would for sure order the burger again if you like that spicy, um, hot, peppery kind of flavor. Um, I would give the burger a four and a half out of five. And the, the drinks, you know, it's it's an okay drink. It's nothing special or fantastic. It's just a strawberry drink. With a little kick of, I think it's lemonade in the background. It tastes like a lemon. So their fusion is strawberry lemonade. That's the fusion. Uh, or at least that's what I got, at least. So um, if it was supposed to be something else in there, I don't think that's what I got. But um, I think the drink's just a three out of five. It's just an average everyday drink you would get anywhere else that's a strawberry um, lemonade. But it is carbonated, so I do like that part of it. So anyway, hope you enjoy this video. Oh, the burger, by the way, I didn't say. It's 710 calories if you get the single. Um, they have in doubles and triples if you want uh, really thick burgers, but I just got a single uh, for 710 calories. So anyway, if you wanted to know. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.